Good afternoon, welcome to our channel. As you probably know, Berkey black filters are no longer being made. They cannot be made and you can't find them anywhere. I'm excited to show you filters that we found that will fit in our Berkey and I'm gonna talk all about them today. Let's go. So here they are. This is by a company called Boro. And these filters are the exact same formulation as the black Berkey filters. And that's because they were developed by the original developers of the black Berkey filter. Now, if you know anything about the EPA's lawsuit against the Berkey company for these filters, it was about the claims that they made in the filters. So since these are the exact same formulation as the Berkey filters were, and they have the silver contained within them, the EPA needed them to be compliant in their claims. And that's so they're compliant with FIFRA, which is the Federal Insecticide, Rodenticide, and Fungicide Act of 1947. It's ridiculous. A water filter has to be classified as an insecticide, but it is, and it's just the way the government works. The only thing that's different is this company cannot claim anymore that it removes microorganisms from surface water, even if it does. That's all it took for the EPA to allow these to be made again. In a minute, I'm going to go through the priming process for these, and I'm going to be installing them in our old Royal Berkey. Now, I'll put a link to these in the description below the video in case you want to check them out. But let me just highlight really quick, because I know there's some haters of Berkey out there about the testing for these. These are tested by an independent laboratory out of New Jersey. That laboratory is certified. The lab that tests these is an accredited ANAB testing laboratory. Now the testing looks a little bit different. The last testing took place in April. The testing next to each thing claimed removed tells you how many gallons tested. So it's a touch bit misleading because the only compound that is tested to be removed for the 6,000 gallon life that these claim is chlorine. You can go down the extensive list of everything that the lab tested these for that it removed, and you can see some tests are 200 gallons, some are 400 gallons, some are 4,000 gallons, some are 50 gallons. It's kind of all over the board. So looking at the testing results for some of the other filters that will fit the old Berkey's, like the uh, Pro One filter, they have independent lab testing results as well. But on their testing results by a company called, I think, Ecotech, they do not specify how many gallons were tested for each of the compounds removed. So you can dive as deep as you want into the water filtration world to see what's tested, what's certified, what isn't certified, all of the above. Just make your best informed decision for you. A little bit more on the testing of these. The official tests are tests 42, 53, and 401. All of them were tested by the independent lab to those standards. Even though those tests weren't certified by the Water Quality Association. But you're gonna be hard pressed to find those certifications for pretty much any other company that makes a filter for a home water filtration system. And as a quick comparison, these remove more radiologicals than the Pro One filters I just talked about. So let me show you what comes in the box and let's get these primed and installed. Now the cool thing about these is they claim to be faster in filtering the water than the old Berkey filters. Now a lot of people think that's slow, but if you want good filtration, it's going to be slow. Again, the choice is up to you. Okay, here we go. In this kit, you get two of the foundation filters. Now these, just like the Berkey's, do not filter fluoride. There's another fluoride filter that connects onto these. They actually give you red dye in the package. So they want you to test them using the red dye to see that they are functioning properly. Now they also give you this interesting priming, I'm gonna call it a nipple here, to put over the end and prime the filters. It comes in this really nice package. It comes with instructions on how to prime your filters, how to install your filters, and then if you choose, how to perform the red dye test. These are American made, made in Colorado, and have a one year warranty. 
And as you can see right here, performance, do not use with water that is microbiologically unsafe of an unknown quality without adequate disinfection before or after the system. That basically means essentially bleach it before you put it through the system and then these will remove the chlorine. Okay, let's prime these. Okay, to prime these, we're gonna take off this nut. Be extremely careful, this is a plastic threaded tube here. We're gonna slide over our priming nipple. And you can kind of screw that down on there if it doesn't fully slide over the top. So it's, it's fairly tight, which is nice. This system here is better than the old Berkey. However, I'm not sure how it's gonna work with a modern faucet. What we want to do is to hold this against the water and build up another, enough water pressure to have this seep out little droplets of water all the way up. So you want the right flow of water to get through there to get those droplets going. As you can see at the bottom, the droplets are starting to come through the filter. This is working okay, but this isn't still the best type of system to prime these things. Now I was trying to do mine too fast. This little dribble here is about all they want you to, uh, to use in priming the filter. We're gonna try that here again, and I just can't get it tight enough to the faucet. Even though I got something to come out of the bottom third of it, I may have to do this on a garden hose. They want you to prime it at a rate of where it would take you 45 seconds to one minute to fill up a 12 ounce glass of water. That's just a trickle. So I don't think I'm getting the right pressure, honestly. Okay, we got that primed, but it was outside. It was on the spigot on the side of the house. Unfortunately, none of the priming systems seem to fit modern taps in your house, only kind of old school ones. Let's get these older Berkey filters out of here and I'll show you how the new ones install. These are almost identical and you can see this one has a base that's just a little bit different, keeps it up off the bottom, out of that bottom water a little bit better. Just like the Berkey Blacks, insert them the same way where this tube at the bottom sticks out and then put your nut on this side. Tighten this snugly, but be very careful that you don't, don't over tighten it and break that plastic tube right there. Make sure when you're putting it in that this rubber washer is on the inside of your top housing. Of course, the more water you put in there, the more pressure you're going to have, but you can see the rate that they're dripping out now. Well, there you go, friends. I love my Berkey Blacks, but again, no longer made, and these are the same formulation. I love the way the water tasted in my Berkey, especially compared to my tap water. And our tap water is pretty good out here in our rural system. You can look at the testing yourself and compare different filters yourself, but I'm excited to have one that fits in here. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them for me in the comment section below. Now go check out these videos right here, which is our series on installing our rainwater reclamation system. Have a beautiful blessed day. See you next time. Bye.